All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. We just finished watching the second preview teaser for Sumeru. Hoyoverse seems to be popping off. They're teasing and showcasing a lot of uh, the upcoming region with Dendro Element. They just showed off the two new locales of uh, Sumeru's region with the rainforest and the desert. We just did a reaction video on that, and that looks really great. And so now uh, I decided to kind of follow up. I wasn't planning on streaming today, but given the trailer, you know insistence on me doing a reaction we are back and we're going to be continuing on with i believe act three of the golden apple archipelago's event with the summertime odyssey i believe this time around we are now going to be shifting gears and focusing on shinyan following mona's divination results the party heads to another island there you see a strangely shaped plant which looks like some kind of musical instrument the musician of the group being shinyan this is going to be her focus which i'm really excited to see what they do because this is going to be i think the first story quest or story event that's going to focus on shinyan as a character every other thing that she's been featured in has been kind of like she's been like an add-on as a Liyue character right moon chase festival technically the archon quest interlude to an extent lantern right and like the labyrinth warriors event was wasn't really a focus on her she was just kind of thrown into that situation because she was in inazuma for something and i guess they decided to throw her into that so at least for now i'm very excited to see how they explore her as a character because i feel like she's a very underrepresented character in the game she was released and forgotten about for over a year before where she was put into the first event of the game which was really unfortunate and i feel like that to an extent made her suffer as a character that players could relate to or resonate with we have read her lore and we kind of understand that she feels kind of like an outcast because as a girl she does things that aren't considered ladylike or things that girls her age should be doing she likes rock and roll she's kind of a tomboy you know and she gets treated differently and kind of treated badly as a as a result of that so i'm just wondering how this is going to tie in because it seems like all the characters are blending really well together their interactions are really likable and i just really like how she kind of gets along with the characters even though she hasn't really had a lot of time with them get up lazy bones the sun's so high it's right in your eyes i love how paimon's our freaking alarm clock every day of this freaking event that's awesome that's definitely what i want hoyoverse can you sell us paimon alarm clocks that make the most insufferable noise known to man so that way all of us can wake up and be on time for what we have to do in the day that'd be great Construct beep. Ah, okay. She's nice. Okay. She's pleasant. She's not completely annoying. Paimon, it's fine. I sleep with my eyes closed. Yeah, that's why you couldn't see that the sun's in your eyes. That's not how that works, Paimon. I trust you slept well. Eh, well enough, I guess. I slept great. Sounds like the same story for everyone. I got up first today, so I took a walk around and picked some fruits for our breakfast. Aw. And Paimon's been waiting for you to get up so she can finally uh paimon's definitely the child that like wakes up everyone in the family at the crack of dawn just to open christmas presents oh official isn't here i just realized that holy shit yeah she seemed unwilling to stay with us Aww. she said she had some other work to do for the adventurers guild i don't buy that how is she doing adventurers guilds i think she's a little worried about her mirage a likely story what happened to coming here to restore the glory of the Immernachtreich? <laughs> Now she has guild work to do all of a sudden. <sighs> I love how Paimon, like, Paimon's attempt at that. That's so funny. And I literally just said that, too. All right, Paimon, keep it together. Judging by that look on her face, there was probably something on her mind. Yeah. We tried sending Mona to comfort her like before, but she said Mona doesn't understand the work of the Adventurer's Guild and can't go with her. Damn, what does that mean? She didn't even make up some excuse about the Immer Nachtreich to get some time alone? Mm. Huh. That's out of character for her. Oh no, what's going on, Amy? Then she must be feeling quite troubled. I'd love to help her as a friend, but she was right about one thing. We're going to explore another island today. Oh, is that so? Yep, votes are in. <laughs> it's unanimous. But I didn't even get to vote. <laughs> oh yeah, about that. Paimon went ahead and voted for you. Ugh. She said since you're always together, her opinion counts as yours and vice versa. It's almost like I have no agency as the main character of this game. Who would have thought? It's almost like Paimon's the main character. <laughs> well, you're an adventurer after all. Paimon 
I knew you'd want to go exploring. Uh-huh. Paimon, well, guess it's happening now. Fischl said there's something she wants to investigate and suggested that we all go ahead in the meantime. She told me not to worry. She'll catch up with us when she's done. I'm really surprised that they're building up this revelation with Fischl. Like, I assume that's gonna come to a head in her mirage. But Mona is the final story. I thought that they would save Fischl's for last. Despite her quirks she's still an experienced adventurer true i think we should trust her i haven't known her for long so this is just an observation but it seems like she's struggling with some mm -hmm. internal conflict it's almost like she's projecting a persona right now that seems about right yeah in conflict with others you either resolve it or let it be Mm. But when the conflict is within yourself, Damn. it's much harder to do either. <laughs> I love how wise Kazuha is, man. I've also had a time like that in my life. Mm. So I understand what she's going through. True. It may be best to give her some space. He's a friend that everyone needs, man. He's so considerate. I agree. Still, it's a pity for today's adventure. Adventuring is always more fun when everyone's together. True. Oh, where's the squirrel in the boat, by the way? Completely forgot about them as characters. Shinyan always has great team spirit. Oh, one other thing. This morning, we saw a mirage on the island in the north. Oh. We can go take a look once you're done with your breakfast, Traveler. Okay, so I guess that's where we're going. Blazing Trails, story three. They literally gave Shin Yan the island where the music puzzle is. I am kind of pissed. <laughs> I'm like low key molding right now. Oh my God. I'm like kind of nervous, not gonna lie. Also, what the fuck just happened to the, what the hell? What the hell is that thing? Is that a jellyfish? Could we stand on top of that floating thing? What the heck is this? Use the lift you get from exiting the wave rider to get on top of the cloud leisure steps. What the fuck is the stairway to heaven? My God. Oh my God, the music puzzle. This thing fucking got me so good last year. It was so simplistically complex. I loved it. Also, hold up. Yo. Ooh, the vibes, the music changed up. Oh, wow. This is the first time I'm hearing this rendition. Oh. It sucks that the environment looks like crap. Right? I feel like we're back in version 1.6 Golden Apple because this is literally what it looked like on the first day. Dude, this is gorgeous, man. I love this so much. All right, this looks very different from last year's, I think. Oh my God. My fucking arch nemesis. We meet again. Whoa, what happened to, what happened to that one? Hold on. Oh my God, what happened to my fucking puzzle? Bro, who it destroyed it? It's pretty normal. Uh, no. I smell something burning on the wind. Oh, is that a mirror maid? What the fuck? There's a mirror maid in the background. Ugh, my sky glass is getting clearer, but I still can't see much. Okay, I, I wonder if this is the mirage then, because we're like surrounded by fog, but these structures are not like they used to be. Hey, look what I found. Ooh. It's a, well, is it a drum or a plant? Uh, let's go with a drum. An instrument made of a plant? Hmm. Shinyan, do you think this could be your island? It looks like the drum on her back right now. Oh, you mean this instrument could have been put here just for me? <laughs> okay, let me give it a try. All right, let's see. Uh, hold on. Uh -oh. When I touched the rock garden in the bonsai yesterday, we were all transported to another space. That's true. Shinyan, do you want to take some time first to get ready? Kazuha, you're literally 10 head, dude. Thank God you're here. Well, you're right, but it's all good. I'm always ready to make some music. All right, blue skadoo, we can too. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you get for voting for me. Paimon, are you okay? Whoa, look at these twisted thorns. Just as we thought. 
We've been sent to another place. Holy fuck. Last time, where we got sent was like a manifestation like of Kazuha's like past, his family's house, his dad, his mom, like his granddad, his great, great granddad. So like, I'm trying, I'm like, okay, so how is this correlating to Shinyan? Oh, why does this place feel so bleak? Shinyan, are you sure this is your mirage? I was gonna say, the, the, the little lanterns right there, they look like uh, the lanterns from Lantern, right? So it's Liwe. It has to be her. I think so, yeah, but... You're right. Why is it so bleak here? Look, there's something really bright over there. Hmm? It's almost like it's inviting us to go check it out. Paimon sounds like she's in a trance right now. Okay, let's go have a look. Wait, wait, wait. Uh this is too obvious. Surely it's got to be a trap. That well may be, but there's also nowhere else for us to go. If this mirage belongs to Shinyan, I don't think we'll find any traps here. Now you're talking. You know that wouldn't be my style. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, all right, let's go then. But let's also make sure to be careful. All righty. I feel bad for anyone who picks a fight with us. I have like the most stacked team in all of Tevat. Shinyan, bro, you must have some demons. Look at this place. My god. When the melodic harp starts glowing, it can be activated. An activated melodic harp will release sound waves that will carry any melodic bloom within an AoE to fire notes. Oh. Oh. Ah, so these are like puzzle based. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Now I get it. So this is almost like the one I just did for Kazuha. Oh, that's <laughs> neat. Wow. I like that. Let's go. The door is locked. Mona, do that thing where you turn into water and slide under. <laughs> Keep your nonsense to yourself. Thank you very much. Sheesh, I'm sorry. Shinyan, why did you lock the door? <laughs> You'd think I'd know this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I usually put my key under the flower pot next to the door. So oh. maybe the key is nearby. Damn, someone's going to rob you now. Someone's going to break into your house. Oh, is there a flower pot around here? There's no plot, but there is a flower. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess it's worth a shot. Oh. Step on adjacent melodic petals and light them up to awaken the melodic harp. An awakened melodic harp will give off a unique radiance. Oh. Ah! What the hell? I literally did what I was told to do, and it literally killed me. All right, apparently I got to jump on this one. My God. All right, let's see. Oh, do, 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 Hello again. Oh. Oh, I like that. It's like the combat music. Nice. I think. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you kindly. So we did get the key from the plant. Oh, the puzzles in Shinyan's Mirage seem way easier than Kazuha's. Well, his life experiences are far richer than mine. I guess. <laughs> you flatter me. All right, so uh, how are we getting back over there? Do I got to go back the other way? I feel like I'm missing. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Adjust. There we go. Do one of these. Let's go! We're gamers! Oh my god, this music's really popping off. Oh shit! <laughs> We're actually. Whoa! Alright, that was a cool transition. Yeah, why is there boss music playing? Why do I hear boss music? Dude, look at this room. This shit looks crazy. Shinyan, you wanna tell us what's going on? Wow! That flower is huge! Looks like a deceased Reggie's vine. Uh, it's so odd here. Oh! Is it because of that flower? And Pyro Reg's vine, perhaps. Heck yeah, I wasn't expecting visitors. Wait, it's a talking flower? Oh my god, dude. We got a talking mushroom. We got talking squirrels, talking boats. Now we got a blazing heart, a talking flower. Great. Ah, it talks! Oh, great. So did the squirrel from yesterday. Pyro knows, but this is different. Hi. We touched those drum-like plants growing on the beach outside, and we're transported here. Uh, are you the owner of this place? This is the Hall of Music, and I'm merely its gatekeeper. 
tell me, my friends. Are you here to pursue the ultimate expression of music? Is that her voice? I feel like that's Shin Yan's voice, but like without the accent. <laughs> oh, you betcha. Then tell me, what do you hope to express with music? <laughs> hmm. The spirit of resistance. Yo, punk rock, let's go. Right on, great answer. I'm so glad to hear that. I consider myself very lucky to meet another musician with the same ideals. Hmm, the same ideals? Maybe they're the same person. Hearing giant flowers get along well with Shin Yan. <laughs> People who are easy to get along with make friends wherever they go. Well, if you've made it this far, you must wish to venture deeper into the Hall of Music. Hmm. However, I must apologize. My singing voice is required for entry, but unfortunately, my pipes are a little dry. Oh my god, does Shin Yan sing too? Are you alright? Do you need, uh, some cold medicine or something? It's just that I haven't had any glacial spring water in a very long time. If I could drink some of that, my voice would be rocked and loaded and ready to clear your path. Glacial spring water? Yeah, what is that? Yeah, with one sip of that, anyone could sing the most beautiful song. No matter if they were a weary adult, a sleepy bird, or even an ignorant child. Oh, shoot. Dude, give me another chance to sing. I'll be like, da, 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 da. I would perform for the gods themselves. Okay, I'll find some for you. Where is this spring? Ah, oh, thanks. You're the best. Well, spring water helps plants grow up strong so they can scale the mountains that lie in their way. So, I imagine the spring can be found somewhere on the mountain range protected by plants. You mean we have to go hiking? <laughs> oh, Paimon thought some seawater would be enough. Damn, what an uncultured swine. Spring water and seawater could not be more dissimilar. Oh, but you may need my powers in order to see the spring. Give me your hand, friend, so that you can see through my eyes. Thanks. You shook my hand. Guess that makes this friendship official. Let's go. Oh, okay, we're out. So we got to go back in once we find uh, the water, I guess. Ooh, it's much brighter here. I, I didn't mind that hot cave, though. <laughs> Glacial spring water can be found on one of the mountains around here. Oh. Let's all look for it. Oh, I remember the trailer showed like a water flower at the top. Wait, how can there be light coming from below the ground here? Is this a water vein? What the hell? Well, according to that flower, the water vein is related to the plants, and the plants will lead us to that spring. So I guess we should follow the water veins. All right, it's probably going to lead us to the top. I have to activate this waypoint real quick because I can't see shit on my mini map. So let's just do that real quick. Hey, there we go. Twinning aisles, broken aisles. Okay, yeah, see, I, I knew it was definitely at the top over here. Uh, hello? Why are you running? Why are you running? Where is everyone running off to? What the hell? That was a little weird. All right, so I can see the water vein. I just got to follow it. Yo, where are these guys running? Y'all are scaring me. Chill. The flow of water is blocked here. I see. Is it because of that pile of rocks? Let's remove them. Yes! Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, hold on. I think I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, I think I'm doing that. Bam! Bam! And there you go. And I assume I would have to do it the other way for that one, so... Alright. Another one. Everyone. Ooh. I found a note here. More people were here? Is this like Fatui stuff? Oh shit, dude, more notes. My God, a seemingly waterproof note. This series of islands is the most unique area I have encountered on this trip. It seems ostensibly ordinary, but the various mountains here have been hollowed out such that changes in their internal water levels will cause them to resound. At the same time, the waters that crisscross the mountains are linked. At high tides, the mountains will play a preset tune together as they resonate as one. I have never encountered the use of mountains, let alone an entire island chain, as a musical instrument of titanic proportions. The designer of this setup must have had great ingenuity, but also a pair of intensely skilled hands. I stayed here for a while longer to closely observe and record the geography and designs of these mountains while listening to the music that they make at various times of the day. The great creativity of their creator in blending nature and artistry together so perfectly leaves me, frankly, in awe. Good design should never be lost, and so I have left these notes for any- Wait, Albedo? 
Wait, what? Albedo left this? If you two have come to this place, rest a while on the mountaintops and let the tides make music for you. It is no easy undertaking to make nature itself lie beside you and sing to you. Indeed, it is an epoch making indeed. I hope that you two will get to enjoy this site. P.S. This sheet of music has been alchemically treated to be water and fireproof. Oh my God. <laughs> Do not worry about the veracity of these notes. Just enjoy the music and the scenery, Albedo. Wait, so did he leave these notes when he was here last year during 1.6? Or did he come back at some point? Bro, they literally still gave us more Albedo even though Albedo wasn't here. Oh, so that's how it is. Oh. What an interesting island. Yes, yeah, so, and Kazu has met Albedo from Iridori Festival. Look at this style and signature. <laughs> it's from Albedo. He's one of our friends from Monday. Whoa! He's an amazing alchemist who's visited this island before. Yeah. He left this note here for future adventurers. Wow. Oh, so it's him. Yeah, Calx. Calx. He's saying this whole island has been turned into an instrument? Amazing. So is that like pre-mirage or post-mirage? And the underground water veins play an important part too. Oh, maybe we need to clear all the water veins to play this island. Bruh, does that mean this is like music puzzle 2.0? Ah, clean your instrument before the performance. Makes a lot of sense. Wow. Oh, this is so cool, though. You can see, like, the water vein. This is just as good as the first one, at least from what I remember. These plants look a lot like the ones we saw in the cave. Dude, this is so nostalgic. I love this. I love it and I hate it because that puzzle was a pain in the ass. <laughs> like an actual pain in the ass, but like I loved that I did it at the time. All right, there we go. Let there be water. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Poggers. This should be the glacial spring water we're looking for. So if you drink this, you can suddenly sing like an angel? <laughs> Don't let Paimon have any. You should give it a try if you're curious. Oh, no, 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 no. I I'm terrible at singing. Uh it would be... Um extremely embarrassing if it didn't work but you wouldn't be terrible at singing oh mona i actually think you've got a sweet voice that's well suited for singing oh if you're interested i can teach you a few things about vocals once we get back to camp yo oh really i i'd love to but you'd have to promise you won't laugh at me mona singing is there anything this girl can't do of course not everyone's gotta start somewhere right right hmm. then Maybe I can give it a try. Great. <laughs> but before that, we should deliver the spring water to that flower. Okay. Well, to re-enter the mirage, we just need to touch the drum on the beach again. Bottle of spring water. Hmm. Imagine I just gave it like the cheap holy water from the spring in Springvale. That'd be like really funny. All right. Bottle of spring water. A bottle of spring water. The glacial spring water that Blazing Heart desires should be stored within. I'm assuming we're going to have to interact with this original music puzzle because it still has like the, the music notes and all that stuff over here. Actually, hold on. Can I interact with these still? Let me see. Hold on. Oh my god, they don't work. Oh, this is so depressing. Okay, that one works. So I guess the other ones don't have water in them yet. Yeah, so I don't think the other ones have water in them. That We just put water in that top one. So uh, yeah, we're going to have to fix this up. Oh, uh, and they don't have the markings on them, the tick marks that told me the order to push them in, God. But here's the thing. The rocks are still above. So maybe the rocks will be the replacement for that. I don't know. God damn, y'all did my freaking music puzzle dirty this year. This is the glacial spring water you were looking for. Shinyan sprinkles the flower with... <sighs> Water. I'm feeling a lot better now. Thank you very much. All right, time to fight. And then it's just a giant Pyro Regis vine. Now, I'll send you to your destination. Whoa! And Paimon died. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is a really cool transition. I really like that. Uh, I'm going to lose my hat. Uh. Hmm? This scent. Mm. I think we've arrived at a mountain near Liyue. Damn, Kaza, a, you got quite a nose on you. What? It's so dark here. Hmm. Wait, listen. There's a voice. Can you hear that? No. Are you? Oh. Yo, the music just changed up, dude. Are we going to get some Shinyan mom lore? The reason the birds <gasps> sing so sweetly is because they drink the spring water from up in the mountaintops. Xinyan, 
We're not singers in this family. Oh my god. None of us are. What makes you think you can be any different? Oh, don't, don't say that. That's her mom. That's not good. Oh, so I just need to go drink some of this spring water and then I'll be able to sing? Mm. Oh, I'll be right back, mama. Poor thing. You gotta have parents that support you, man. I've already read through her lore, so I already kind of know like what her upbringing was like, and this is probably her dad. You mustn't stay out so late in the mountains by yourself, child. You scared the bejesus out of me. Here, this is the spring water you were looking for. <gasps> really? Oh, you're the best, daddy. Did she get the, the singing talent she's always wanted, or did she... What happened? Oh, where did she run off to this time? To find somewhere she could sing, no doubt. Ugh. She can't be persuaded, and we can't stop her from walking out the door. Did you really have to lie to her like that? How was I supposed to know she'd go running off looking for spring water? Oh, when is she gonna come to her senses? It's like, oh, no one believed in me, not even my parents. So how about that? Get down from there. You can't set up a stage here. If you can't sing, you should be keeping your mouth shut, not putting on a public performance. Ugh. What an asshole. Fuck this guy. Ugh, don't tear down the stage. Approach the door to which you hear the voices. It's probably Shin Yan's voice we're hearing. <laughs> ah, screw these people. Shin Yan, my dear child. Uncle. Why are you playing that crass instrument again? It's not ladylike. All right, this is it. This is what I was expecting to see. Oh, Shin Yan, your mother has asked me to teach you some embroidery when I can find the time. Oh, it's an elegant and enjoyable craft. Just come to Annie's house whenever you're free. I'm trying to pop off with the homies and sing some rock music. Quit making that racket by the side of the road. What? If you have to play, play something classy. Yeah, fuck these people. Shin Yan, you got a shitty family. I'm sorry. Why are they being so mean? Oh, these people. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Why are you not yelling back? What happened to your rock and roll spirit? Ah, uh, people like that break that spirit. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, damn, these people never change. And now you're laughing? Aren't you mad? Paimon, you better not be getting offended for other people. Let people be offended if they want to be offended. Don't be offended on other people's behalf. Sometimes it's hard to get mad when you hear the same thing a hundred times. <laughs> Still, thanks, Paimon. True, actual facts. Uh, what? Auntie Jishong, how are you doing? Oh, dear child, I've been waiting to hear from you for a long time. This weekend, I'll be free. Auntie, stop thinking about me for a hot sec. Your stove is still on and you're cooking <laughs> soup, right? Oh, so you see, it's all burnt. Damn. Oh, how did this happen? Damn, she's like, miss me with that bullshit. <laughs> oh my, Uncle Jew, little Jew is playing in the mud by the river again. Didn't you tell him not to do that? Yo, you'll love to see it. What? That rascal is up to his old shenanigans behind my back again, is he? Damn. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Shin Yan, you just got that kid in trouble. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, sorry, Uncle Hai. I'll move my stage someplace else. But your musical taste needs to evolve if you want to keep up with the times. Damn, you fucking boomer. Maybe you didn't know, but even the most famous opera singer in Leo likes listening to my boorish music. Hell yeah. What did you say? Is that true? You're not making this up, That's are you? true. <laughs> I'll have to look into this. Yunjin actually really likes her music. See? Knowing the right words to say and when to smile can solve almost any problem. She doesn't let it phase her. If that's the case, then what's your rock and roll spirit for? My rock and roll spirit isn't something I just use to win an argument. That'd be a real waste. Hmm. Rock and roll is a revolution. Let's go! identity and destiny, saying goodbye to concessions and cowardice, it does them all. Hell yeah. And most importantly, it lets you do it with art rather than words. True. My rock and roll has an unbreakable spirit, like a flame in a rainstorm that refuses to go out, or the magma that never stops boiling under the surface of the land. She painted such a picture, dude. Guys, I think we should go and raid in the streets. We've been oppressed. We're gamers, okay? We've been oppressed for too long. And when they say who put you up to this, we'll be like, Shin Yan's rock and roll spirit sends her regards. And then we, we take what we want. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go that way. I'm about to be There's a revolutionary a right after there. this after this quest. I'm going to be a new man. What a great mindset you have. Mm -hmm. If anyone ever called me anything less than a genius, I'd be furious. <laughs> really? Paimon is tempted to give it a shot. Oh. 
Pomona is glaring at me. <laughs> Pomona, there's a difference between embracing the spirit of rock and roll and playing with fire. Hmm, I like that. To tell you the truth, I'm also starting to develop an interest in rock and roll. Let's go! Seriously? Oh, this better not be a joke. Yo! No, I'm serious. Rock and roll Kazuha? Rock and roll's ability to cultivate such a strong will in people is an incredible thing. And he's got the zither, dude. He already has the guitar. All right, let's let's uh, let's see where this leads us. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Oh, is this the boy playing in the mud that she was talking about? Uh-oh. Hey! Is that? Timmy, is that you? Another door. More delightful individuals await us on the other side, I assume. Uh, let me handle it. Piece of cake. Miss, your hairstyle Wee. is really strange. Wait, this is one of the boat kids in the harbor. The kids that play pirate on the, on the wharf. Oh, is that so? I think it looks really cool. Take a closer look if you don't believe. I just realized we're on like a dock right now, so that makes sense. Your hair sticks out from your head and you wear spiky things in it. <laughs> Nobody else has hair like that. Yo, she's like, I'm a badass punk rock girl. Let's go. Well, you're looking at it the wrong way. If I don't look like anybody else, hmm. once you've seen me, you won't be able to forget me, True. even if you try. You'll still recognize me if you ever see me again in the future. She stands out in a crowd. Yeah, you're right. Your clothes, hair, even the way you walk and talk. It's not just for the eyes of others. It's your style. So you should go with whatever you like. I've always wanted to see what Shinyan looks like with her hair down, though. I think we've seen it once. I think it was the Moon Chase Festival when we saw, like, the Liyue characters as little kids. And I think we saw, like, a panel of Shinyan with her hair down. And she was, like, she was like a little girl, though. So, like, I've always wondered what she looks like when her hair's not up like this. Really? But if I wore a jacket with a picture of a puppy on it... People would say, hey, little Faye like stupid little puppies. Tell me who says that. I'll take care of them right now. Then you should ignore them. So, you like puppies, huh? Who doesn't like puppies? What kind of unhappy scourge of the earth doesn't like puppies? <laughs> I do. What about your friends? Well, yeah, they do too. These damn kids, man. Who's not liking puppies? <laughs> Well, then your friends are going to love that jacket. They're going to be jealous that you're copping it and they don't. Okay. Uh, miss, how come you don't do your hair in a nice braid? People would love that. No, oh, I can't help myself. I just like the styles with personality. Uh, plus, I had no idea how so many people would dislike it before I started wearing my hair like this. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're haters, dude. So why don't you change it now? This hairstyle suits my music and my lifestyle. The regular ones are boring. They're so uninspired. Plus, they get in the way when I'm head bobbing away on stage. That is true, though. Like, long hair, it's good and all, but it lacks finesse. <laughs> if people don't like it, that's up to them. I ain't gonna change it. Yeah, little kids, so stop asking all these damn questions about my hair. What about your friends? Do they not like it, too? One of the things that definitely, like, clashes with other people from, like, what I've read of her lore is her appearance. Like, her style, the clothes she wears, the way she does her hair, how it's just kind of, like, the opposite of what a lady should look like and what her family and people that know her want her to be. So, like, I feel like her getting these questions asked probably lets the player know, like, the average player who doesn't know anything about her lore who might not have read it to, like, understand why she does and looks the way she does. Of course they like it. They all say that they think it looks amazing. Your friends are nice to you. That's cool. Not like my friends. They left me here on my own. I thought y'all were like pirate friends. What the hell? Oh, hey, hey, hey now. Why are you crying? What's wrong? You can talk to me. Little Lulu and little Mung, they're ignoring me. We were going to meet at the docks today, but they still haven't shown up. Maybe they forgot. These kids are way too young to be standing each other up like this. <laughs> I guess. No. Oh, stay right here. I'll go take a look around. I'll bring them to you once I find them. Oh, this poor kid. Hey, we got you, fam. O okay. Oh! Thanks, miss. I'll never say anything bad about your hair again. Wait a minute. <laughs> what do you mean again? 
<laughs> See, now you're talking sense. <laughs> I'll see you later. You mean you were talking shit before? <laughs> Maybe they got their own thing, their own stuff going on. Oh, there's one of them over here. Little Meng, what's going on? Excuse me, are you Little Meng? Little Faye is waiting for you at the docks. He's been waiting so long now that he's in tears about it. Oh, why is he so dumb? He could have just come here and found us. Oh, uh, never mind. I'll go find him instead. Damn, he's like, what an idiot. Sheesh. Kind of toxic, but okay. He ran <laughs> off. We should catch up to him. Maybe that's just how they're friends. Maybe that's just how friends talk to each other nowadays. I don't know. Lil Lulu. Uh, excuse me. Are you little Lulu? Are you looking for me, miss? Didn't you promise to meet little Faye at the docks? Why aren't you going to meet up with him? He's crying because he thinks you've abandoned him. Huh? huh? Oh, that silly dum-dum. Why didn't he just come to look for us? We prepared a surprise gift for him. Bruh, why, why are y'all jerks? A surprise gift? How strange. And why hasn't anyone called them out for it? Like, come on now. He's not calling y'all dumb. I'm so glad I'm not a kid anymore. I don't know if I'd be able... I don't know if I'd make it now in this day and age. These kids are savage out here. Dumb. We were preparing a surprise gift for you. We didn't think that you wouldn't come to try and find us. And definitely didn't think you'd start crying about it. Oh, boy. I'm sorry for being such an idiot. No! This isn't nice! This is toxic. This is the worst. No, I'm sorry. Okay. You're not an idiot. Thank you. I guess we shouldn't have been so secret. Okay, about thank it. God. I, I was like, things are going down a dark and slippery slope right now. Redeemed. Okay, stream saved. We didn't come to the docks to meet you because we wanted to give you a big surprise for your birthday. Oh shit. Let's go. Huh? This is Man's out here celebrate crying on his birthday. Hey, you know what they say? It's my party. I can cry if I want to. We brought you loads of yummy lotus heads. And here's a handwritten birthday letter from me and Lulu, too. Oh, please don't call our handwriting ugly, okay? Hmm. <laughs> Man, look at that. Kids being kids. You guys. <laughs> Thank you. And all's well that ends well. It was all just a misunderstanding. The dumb, dumb, and the idiot part. We could have gone without that. Well, sometimes that's just what friends do. <laughs> if my friends had ditched me to plan a surprise, I'd have gotten upset too. Define friend, by the way. Is that a hint for us to prepare a surprise for you too? <laughs> that's Very funny. Clever. That's funny. No, I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> I know. I was just joking. Seeing if I could give you a fright. Oh, uh, Mona, are you hungry? Uh, everyone? Paimon's hungry. Jesus Christ. I was like, okay, that could be Mona. I thought it would have been Paimon, but I was like, Mona has no money. So I wouldn't be surprised if her stomach's growling too. Jesus, that rumble has no business being that loud. It's almost lunchtime. So how about we have lunch at my house? It's not far from here. Ooh. So... Even your house is in this mirage? <laughs> yep. I just noticed. There's the same road in here as the one that leads to my house in real life. Even though we're in a mirage, I reckon some things will always remain the same. Oh. In real life, after a bad quarrel with the neighbors or a disappointing show, the one place I'll always go is my house. Because, well, everyone has to go home eventually. <laughs> home is where the heart is. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Yo, Pog, not a bad place you got here. Mom, Dad, I'm home. I brought my friends over. What's for dinner? Here we are. <laughs> Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. No need to take off your shoes. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you. Oh, chairs. We can finally unwind for a bit. <laughs> huh? Oh. Uh, did you guys hear a sound coming from the other room? Oh, you all keep resting here. I'll go have a look. Monka W? I didn't hear anything. Shinyan, you got some ears on you. How do you hear things that I can't hear? Oh. Oh, the lights aren't even on. And Behind no you! Dun, dun, dun. Oh! Happy birthday! Wait, what? Wait, I thought it was like a bad person, like a monster or something. <laughs> oh my god, Shang Ling! What are you two doing? Why are you sitting in the dark inside my house? <laughs> you scared the pajazas out of me! Also Yunjin, but Shang Ling! <laughs> Yunjin, you were totally right. Oh she my god. This is so cool. It's your birthday. So we planned a surprise party for you. Her and little Faye share the same birthday? What the hell? That's a little too on the nose. Also, where the hell are we? We better be getting some of this birthday cake. 
<laughs> you girls really shouldn't pull these pranks while pretending to be all sweet and innocent. This is so wholesome, man. <laughs> Come on now, what's wrong with that? Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. Wow. She's got friends after all. Totally, Yunjin. Guoba pulls pranks on me all the time, too. Oh, my God. Where's Guoba? I want to just have this entire cutscene just being like, what's Guoba doing? All right. All right. You win. Ah, oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Beto needs to do something today. So she has asked me to deliver her gift to you. God, Beto's mentioned, too. So here they are. A custom-made dagger and a score of a composition from abroad. A dagger, though? As for my offerings, I have these gold hairpins and iron hair ties custom-made for you by my family. Hmm, let's go. Iron hair ties? You're telling me that your family used their 1,000 years worth of experience to make hair ties? I know, right? That's cool. What's the problem? Hair ties may look simple and unassuming, but they actually require a lot of intricate craftsmanship to make. I think she's, like, excited about it. <laughs> My gift is one of a kind. Oh? A little while ago, I came across a bespectacled blacksmith on the street. The way he worked and talked, it felt almost like he could see right through stones. Uh... Okay? Question mark? I was skeptical, so I asked him to help me make a bet. And when the merchant cracked the stone open, there was indeed a piece of raw jade inside. <laughs> oh. I took the jade on the spot and ground it into a pendant, which I then strung on a cord. You can use it as an accessory. When she mentioned the merchant, I thought of the jade mystery, like Chateau's merchant stand. But then I also thought of uh, Kunjun from Zhongli's second story quest, because she mentioned that it's like you could see through stone and he has the ability of stone sight. You made a jade pendant for me? So I don't know which one it is. But if it was Kunjun, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, don't wear it around your neck. Put it on your guitar. Every day I see how much you pamper that guitar. So I thought you should jazz it up a bit. I don't know if I can bring myself to hang this thing anywhere except in a display case on an altar. Thank you, Xiangling. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Xiangling has always been thoughtful. Mm -hmm. But the blacksmith you mentioned, who could see through stone. See? Can you tell me more about him? If the story's interesting enough, I might have to put it into my play. Hold up! It was, is it actually Kunjun? I'm not exactly sure, but I hear that he was sick for a while and was so disoriented during that time that he couldn't remember <gasps> anything and felt as if his body didn't belong to him. I think this is Kunjun because, like, I think what this is referring to is when Ajdaha, like, took over him and he didn't remember anything prior. And then, all of a sudden... He recovered. That's so cool. He's all fine now, except for some reason, he can now tell the difference between valuable and worthless stones <laughs> just by looking at them. Dude, that's even better than Zhang Li. Oh uh, man, it's it's partially through Zhang Li. That's certainly peculiar. This is the first time we've heard about him since 1.5. No, oh, let's not get into that. The food is getting cold. Let's eat. Bro, we're just in the other room chilling. Did y'all forget about us? Oh, what? Wait, Xinyan, didn't you pick up a trick from an Outlander merchant? Bruh. The one you taught me on my last birthday. Bruh, are we really not invited to the birthday party? <laughs> they literally forgot about us. Oh, you mean making a birthday wish? <laughs> yes, that's the one. They also light candles and cut cakes in other regions. But we didn't have time for that because we were too busy bringing the food over. Well, it smells good, at least, from the other room. It's fine. I can just use my imagination. Isn't Paimon dying of hunger right now, too? Okay. <laughs> Let's count to three and you can make a wish. One. Two. Are they going to disappear on three? Three. <laughs> what should I wish for this year? My wish is... Oh, I'm back. What happened? Paimon was just peering through the crack in the door. Given that we are in a mirage, Xinyan, did anything significant happen inside the house? We saw Mirage Shang Ling and Mirage Yunjin. Paimon knows! Paimon knows! She ran into some of her friends who were throwing her a birthday party. And 
and she didn't invite us for any of the food. Uh, yes, I heard all that. I mean, something she did herself. Oh, I made a wish. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty interesting now that I think about it. When I entered the room, I found Shang Ling and Yun Jin, two of my best friends. Ah, uh, they're my friends too. That actually happened in real life. They paid me a surprise visit on my birthday, uh, set a table with delicious food, and persuaded me to make a birthday wish. Wow, how wholesome. Xin Yan, what was your wish? My wish was to perform with someone completely unexpected. Say less. I know that, that you're, you're talking about me. I'm the main character. I'll perform with you, sure. Hmm, I wonder who this unexpected person might be. <clears throat> I've just figured it out. Oh, you already know the answer? <laughs> if it's not me, I'm going to be, like, really embarrassed. <laughs> mm-hmm. However, before I tell you the answer, I'd like to clear the water veins that float through Oh, my the God. Ice. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> I swear to God, if it's not me. If she says Paimon, I'm literally quitting this game. <laughs> Wait, is that an NPC or is that a... Huh. Oh! Huh. Huh. That's an NPC! Oh, damn, dude. We're actually gonna talk to the Mirror Maid? Yo, I'm about to act up, chat. Jeez, yo, that's the first time we're talking to a Mirror Maid in the game. Oh, what is this? Investigate. There's a pocket watch here. What's inside of it? Looks like some kind of photo. It's got Shnejnayan on it, too. Okay, so I'm, like, picking up random, like, quest items and shit. This is what I meant to do. My bad. Feel the beast. All right, let's link that up. Let's link this up with this. Let's link that up with that. Let's link that up with this. Let's turn you. There we go. Nice. I'm going to save that pocket watch stuff for later when I do the quests and stuff. Ah, there we go. The vein is going through. Actually, I want to look in here because I remember last year there was like a... You can trap fish in here. Oh, never mind. There's nothing in here. What a missed opportunity, Hoyoverse. Let's keep it going. Let's move our way up. What the hell is that thing? There's a pink flamingo. A purple flamingo? Right. Whoa, what is that? Hey, that's kind of cool looking. Hold on, what is that? Is that an electro? What the hell? Back up! Amp it up. <laughs> I was a little extra, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? Time I'll take it. Ready? One, two, three, four! I think that's like one of the first times I've heard her like loot opening uh, dialogue. That was really nice. Oh my gosh, the music, the water, it's back! Good shit. One down, one to go. Dude, these are barren as fuck. They all got, like, evaporated. All the water levels, like, receded back down. All right, we started from the bottom. We probably shouldn't. Yeah, see, I have to work from the bottom, too, because I need to find out where the vein goes up into the mountainside. So, unfortunately, starting from the top is not ideal. All right. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, I meant to do that. Yeah, I meant to do that. Pog. Let's go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Gotcha. Yo, this music puzzle is going to be absolutely cracked. Also, I just realized you got like fucking trees and whatnot. Like, oh, wow. Look at that. What is that? Wait, are there Fatui in there? Oh, this guy's stuck. Oh my god. This man was trying to get some apples. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> guarantee you he was like yeah i was trying to pick some apples and i got stuck in here oh no help step maiden i'm stuck <laughs> we've done everything we can but how do we deal with the last two mountains yeah that's what i was thinking let's stick to it there's gotta be a way after taking a closer look it seems to me that most of the island mountains contain water veins and plants in their interior Okay. Those together form a system that connects the mountains with one another. However, now that much of the mountains have collapsed, the connection of plants and water veins is blocked. If we can dredge all the blockages, we'll be able to connect the islands to form the giant instrument described in Albedo's notes yeah. and play music using the islands themselves. <laughs> and being stuck on a puzzle for god knows how long yep for me to reach my goal we gotta do this but first i'd like to consult the flower it should know what to do oh we're skidooing back in ladies and gentlemen some of the plants and water veins on the island mountains have been lost do you happen to know another way to dredge the blockages why is there boss music playing every time we come here i know someone who can help you with that go ask my companion frozen soul who lives upstairs oh the cryo reggie's vine blazing heart and frozen soul i like that that's kind of cool let's go damn dude taking the the express route whoa 
The heart and soul, ladies and gentlemen. They're closer than you think. Look at this. This looks awesome. Who are you? Oh. And what brings you to me? Nice to meet you. We were wondering if you could use your power to dredge the mountains on the island. Mountains? Hmm. Oh. I see. You want to become great musicians too, right? Uh, ma'am, you, you have it all wrong. I'm already a great musician. Oh, is that what this is about? <laughs> Correct. In that case, we seek the same thing. Despite my frailty, I feel obligated to share some of my power with you. Plant my pedal at the ending point of the intersection of melodies. And what had once sunk into the earth oh. will re-emerge with the music. As long as there is music, life will continue to flourish in this world. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Yu Pen Cheng, for flourishing our life with music. All right, let's see. Plant the frozen soul's petals. Okay, we got to do it at the intersection of all the melodies, which is the first island. All right, here we go. Hope this works. Okay. This ought to do the trick. Oh, damn. That was quick. There's a sound coming from the island. Oh, shit. Clear the water vein on the... Okay, so the last two islands now. Cool. That island right there has seen better days. So we got to do this one and now these two. Okay, nice. Oh, okay. Water veins right here. Making our way through. Hey. Got him. All right, now we're good. Now we're cooking. Knowing this one, I'll probably have to go up. Let's see. Ah, there you go. Oh. Gee. Oh my god, dude. This is going way too quick. All right, so that should be one down. Yes. Good shit. Wow, this one's pretty deep. I still haven't been to the main middle island where Magu Kenki used to be, so I actually have no idea what the hell's over there. Looks like a Fatui camp. Oh, is that the half of Akodomeki's ship over there? I remember half of it was on one structure and then the other half was somewhere else. I got to look at all these island spots too at some point. I didn't know how deep this water goes. Oh God, how awesome. We have the best mobs in the game. Into the wind. Yo, get over here. Get over here. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It just it just cuts out all the bullshit and they're like, you know what? We'll just take you to the top. Even though I don't think this was the way I was supposed to come because I don't know where the blockage is at the moment. So you know what? We're going back down real quick. Oh, right. Damn, I missed it. That's uh, that's kind of cringe. Not going to lie. There we go. And there you have it. That's how a gamer does it. Teleport. Oh shit, we did it. Wait, that was it? <laughs> oh, that was a lot easier than last year. Damn, miHoYo. You really just gave us the watered down, no pun intended, the watered down baby version of the music event. Can you feel anything now that we've planted the pedal? Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Yes, I can feel it. The sun is shining brightly. The sea gleams like a gemstone. The waves lap the milky white beaches, and the grains of sand are pulled into the sea. God damn. Then pushed back ashore. Ma'am, all I did was fill some wells with water. The seabirds are landing on the rocks, pecking gently and making rhythmic sounds. Da dum, da dum, da dum. Dum. Do, 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 do. Yo, she's really feeling it, my god. It's music. This is indeed music. In fact, this whole island is a giant musical instrument. Hmm. Since you are a musician, you should be able to understand the meaning behind its original creation. Yeah, thanks, Albedo. <sighs> Making music with the tides, waves, and sea breeze as your instruments is the most romantic thing in the world. Let's go, everyone. It's time for my performance. Oh, damn. Yo, concert? Kazuha, can you feel the wind? Which direction is it blowing in? Oh, damn. It's coming from that direction. 
I'll take you to a hill where the wind blows. Wait, are we actually about to pop off right now? What do you mean my performance? Hey, we have the whole freaking band over here, okay? We can we can make some good music together. <laughs> Finally, the time has come. Everyone, I uh... once made a wish to perform with someone no one could have expected. Oh! And today, on this island, I found my answer. Oh, so it's not me. That's fine. That's cool. You know what? Frozen Soul, she's earned it, you know? It wasn't meant to be. No one knows the name or appearance of the man who transformed this island into a giant musical instrument so many years ago. How do you know it was a man? But he is unquestionably one of Devad's greatest musicians. Actually, we don't know if it's a man or a woman. I thought it was Alice initially, but I guess Alice found it. Yeah, it was probably Ventine. He's out here like, oh, chucking these rocks into the ocean is music to my ears. And then the rest was history at that point. I never imagined I'd be able to see such an instrument and I never imagined we'd be able to play it during a high tide. Are you going to play some rock and roll? No. Music is the gift one gives to their kindred spirit, so I'll play something that makes for a better duet with the original musician. Wait, what the hell is about to happen right now? They literally just stopped the music of the actual game. She was like, no. No rock music for today. Instead... I'm gonna show you something new. Oh shit, hold on. Shinyan playing not rock music? That's actually kind of interesting. Oh, cutscene! Wait! <gasps> oh my god! Yo, she's got her long hair! Oh my god, that's the one I was talking about! Little Shinyan! This is cool! <laughs> <laughs> to you who lived here in the past, I hope you liked this song. Whoa, she is go- oh my god. Oh my god, that was amazing. Dude, she looked beautiful with her hair down. We need a Shinyan skin with that design. Make it happen, Hoyoverse. Sheesh! Yo, that was really unexpected. That was really cool. How was it? Not bad, huh? Yeah, I wish it was longer, honestly. That was super short-lived. I wish that was longer. <sighs> Quite impressive. I've never heard a duet like that before. It was very interesting. Mm, so she like got inspired by like someone playing the guitar outside of her house. And so elegant as well. <sighs> Paimon's not sure how best to put it, but it was just super unique. <laughs> a performance with a lot of personality. <laughs> Thank you. And now I can say my wish has come true. Is there anything else you'd like to do? No. In fact, I reckon I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, you played your heart out. Does this mean everyone is free for the time being? Oh! If so, I have a suggestion. Uh-huh, go on. I'd like to return to the Fatui camp and see what's going on there. Mm. Oh. So you've discovered the Fatui camp as well. Bruh, I'm so pissed off that Fischl wasn't here for any of this, by the way. Have we not gone long enough without Fischl? How dare you, like, bring Fischl back and then take her away from us? Wait, you know about it too? Of course, I'm a genius astrologist. Didn't I mention that my scry glass has recovered a little? I can sense what's going on here through divination. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't know the Fatui were here too. Indeed. I also informed Fischl of this when we parted ways today. Bruh. If she runs into them, she'll stay hidden and out of danger. Then perhaps we should tell everyone what we know. I'm excited though, because the next stream I do, I think it's going to be Fischl's. It's going to be the Imanakreish Keep. A strange machine and delirious Fatui? Are you suggesting these are connected to the Mirage? They could be. I can't say I'm certain. Maybe. But I don't believe they're completely unrelated. Fair enough. Let's go check out the camp. Yeah, whenever there's some re weird shit happening, it's always the Fatui. Check out the Fatui machine. Oh, so we're still doing this. Okay. What the fuck is happening, dude? Who activated the Blood Moon? Y'all about to fucking destroy the planet. Holy shit. All the Fatui are here. Feel the beat. This is fucking weird. It's strange that on our way here... We've only run into local monsters and no Fatui. Uh, y'all want to talk about the atmosphere right now? This shit looks crazy. How bizarre. <laughs> 
There are still signs of the camp, and the machine is still here, but all the people have vanished. It looks like the apocalypse is upon us. This machine must have something to do with the mirages. Sure, it's broken, but maybe it itself is the cause. But if the machine can cause people to hallucinate, why did they vanish? Is there anything else going on? Yo, this music? Monka W, hold me chat. Did they disappear or are they just hiding from us? Oh, I give up. I'm just going to divine the answer. Uh, I don't know if you want to do that. Uh, do we have to do it in front of that machine? What's this? Some kind of energy flow. Oh shit, ley lines? Oh, sorry, everyone. I can't seem to find any trace of the Fatui. My scry glass has gotten hazy again, but this time I can sense some sort of energy converging and taking physical form. Okay, that's a little weird. The destination is the island over there. Oh, great. Whose mirage will it be this time? Oh, another one. Officials. She's MIA. Let's head over and have a look. Maybe we'll be able to find something there. All right, this might be the end of this quest line. Oh, no. Holy shit, we're still going. Go to the island that Mona mentioned. Yeah, there was a ton of Fatui here just a second ago. Now they're all gone. That's kind of terrifying. Bro, the end of days are upon us right now. I don't know how I feel about the good vibe music right now. Oh, Oh, so that's just this island that it's acting up in. You know what? I'll take that any day. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Waypoint right there. Oh, official Oz. Yo, you guys missed the entire thing, bro. Y'all literally missed everything, bro. So sad. Let's activate this. Hey, and we got everything. The twinning aisles, pudding aisles, Manacious, broken. We still got to visit all of these like little islets too, but finally fully explored. All right, official. What's going on? Here we are. Huh? Fischl? Yo, is everything good? You're looking kind of anime right now. Anime like edgy. <sighs> oh, never mind. She's sad. It's really her! Hey, Fischl! Uh, my imprudent retainers. You finally arrived. She's like not even trying to be in character right now. Oh, my. And Oz! Long time no see. Oh, no. It hasn't been that long, has it? Uh, it's like the whole day. <clears throat> Main Fräulein and I sensed a peculiar aura and came here ahead of time to reunite with everyone. Mm. We weren't expecting you. Well, what I mean to say is, you arrived sooner than we expected. Is it just Paimon? Or does Oz seem nervous? Yeah. The advent of the Imanakreish is imminent, and I still need to prepare for the consecration. Okay. I don't like the vibes right now. Main Fräulein, are you sure you... I am quite capable of acting on my own, Oz. If you are weary of the encroaching darkness of the night, Sheesh. you are quite welcome to return to the blinding brightness of the day. Damn, she just told Oz, if you don't like it, then leave. Please, main Fräulein, do not say such things. I am your loyal attendant, your eyes, and I will never leave your side. Why are you pushing him away? Stop staring at me like that. I... <laughs> Anyway, the time of explanation is not yet upon us. Hm. I wonder if how Fischl feels affects Oz because like Oz was kind of like manifested from her. So maybe like he feels her unsettlingness. Oh, main Fräulein. I do apologize, everyone. Main Fräulein is having a rough day. Oh. Please do not take it to heart. I must also excuse myself now. He's like, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Still no improvement in her mood, even after all this time away from the group. Hmm. As soon as I saw Fischl, I realized that the mirage that's about to take shape here must have something to do with her. Yes. I at least felt a peculiar sense of familiarity when I approached my mirage. Wonder what she's feeling. Me too. Even though it didn't really make sense, I just had a feeling that something exciting was gonna happen. It might be the opposite for her, cause like her like whole official shtick is like created to push people away. Exactly. If Fischl and Oz can also sense something, then our suspicions are likely to be right on the Mora. Fischl's probably agitated because she doesn't want to confront her mirage. Mm. How come? Maybe her mirage conceals some secrets that she doesn't want anyone to know about. Yeah, that's probably it. Let's all take a rest here for now. When the mirage appears, we will get to the bottom of this mystery. Oh, man, they're setting up Fischl for something fierce, dude. Damn. 
blazing trail there it is we gotta move on to the next day for officials mirage i'm very excited for officials more than anything i think it is going to be like a clash of her two personalities like amy versus the princessin actually now that i think about it that might actually tie in with the costume i'm actually realizing this now like in 1.6 barbara and jean's costume played a part in that quest like they actually changed into those costumes for that event and then for the lantern right festival kaching and ningwongs wore those costumes for that event i actually wonder if this is amy and this is the princessin because she's got different colored eyes too like amy's eyes are green whereas this one's eyes are red may the glory of the princessin bring light to this world how appropriate that line <laughs> uh that was like perfect timing too holy shit but yeah this was incredible shinyan shined through that was really really cool i wish that they had given us something like that for shinyan in the main storyline because again for anyone that plays the game after this point like you're really not going to get a sense of her character at all because every piece of content that she's involved in is limited content that goes away and doesn't come back so like she doesn't have like a main staple in the game at all like no hangout i don't think she's in any like main story archon quest i think she might be in the interlude but yeah i, I think it was awesome regardless that little sequence that she had at the end there with her doing that like guitar duet or that banjo duet was really really cool i wish it was a bit longer because like i really liked the animation style her with her hair down she looks incredible with her hair down i wish that she got a skin for something like that that's really cool but i've always really enjoyed shinyan's personality i just wish that mihoyo gave her more screen time and made her feel more like a character like some of the other four stars in the game she gets a bad rap because of the fact that she's a very different character right she's got like that accent and her design isn't as like desirable is the best word that i think i can say for that but it's like it's not a like a desirable design as opposed to like Ganyu or Eula or something like that and so I feel like she just has a lot of things against her and Mihoyo not running her in any type of substantial event or quest didn't do her any favors either but I really enjoyed it I thought it was great and I'm really happy that I started that I actually built her because I actually really like the Shinyan build that I got going on yeah that was awesome that was great I hope you guys enjoyed it the music festival or the music event of the golden apple was kind of like baby mode but I'm expecting there to be a more complex side of it especially with how albedo mentioned that the music of the island kind of works in tandem with like the different time of days and stuff like that so lord knows how this puzzle is gonna fare compared to year one i'm expecting to go through all of it but i really hope you guys enjoyed the stream i hope you guys enjoyed the content i hope you guys enjoyed act three of the golden apple archipelago run i'm just gonna try to finish the main story quest with these characters as soon as possible get my free official get my crown of insight then shift to exploration treasure chest we got to get the conscious so we can get the free official skin you know we also have to go through whatever world quests are here as well but we'll get to all of that in due time thank you guys all so much again for the support thank you guys for checking out the video on youtube as well as always leave your thoughts in the comments down below and we will see you guys all in the next one take care